Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got an interesting new direction I was not expecting from mainstream scientists. We've got gorgeous eye candy from James Webb Space Telescope and, of course, did some stuff last night. And we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Very quiet. Up here and back here at Earth, with solar wind and geomagnetic conditions calming as well, we have calm conditions everywhere in terms of space weather. We're waiting for the enhanced solar wind stream from the southern coronal hole, big dark patch down there, while we also begin to take our flare watch up a notch with the sea of sunspots and potential active region interaction coming into view top left. Sunspots are making a comeback like they suddenly remembered at sunspot maximum. Folks, I was on TimCast last night, as many of you know. It's very different than the Culture War show, I found out, but more tied in with recent news and events. It was a lot of fun. We did the Green Room, the two-hour TimCast, and then the members show on Rumble. Link to the main broadcast is below. They were so kind again. Gracious hosts once again. Thanks to the TimCast team. We're off next to the James Webb Space Telescope, where the Hubble image on the left is two cutouts that are scoped further with James Webb. 10x the details at least when we add the near-infrared camera capability of Webb. And here's a before and after of one of the cutouts. Holy cow, that is a different league entirely. Folks, there are two papers that came out in the last week, and I can't believe they're going to try to do this. They're saying that the Earth's rotation speed, the actual position of the poles, the geodesy we've been discussing for five years, and which is changing, accelerating up to record speed and setting records for fastest rotation day. They're saying it's being changed by human-caused climate change. That's right, folks. Fractions, millionths of an atmospheric chemistry causes changes in the core. We've seen all the papers on the sun and Earth's magnetic field having those dramatic effects on the rotation and the polar position and on the core, but we now see the next thing they're going to try to blame on you. They're about to start admitting on a large scale how our solid Earth is changing in pretty scary ways. And they're going to try to get you to believe it's your car that's doing it. Folks, all three of my books are on sale to kick off the spring season. All three will be going out of print very soon. Get them at the link below or when you come out to observe a ranch. I can't wait to see you in person. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.